the Book of Concord or Concordia is the historic doctrinal standard of the Lutheran Church, consisting of ten creedal documents recognized as authoritative in Lutheranism since the 16th century. They are also known as the Symbolical Books of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. The Book of Concord was published in German on June 25, 1580 in Dresden. The 50th anniversary of the presentation of the Augsburg Confession to Emperor Charles V at the Diet of Augsburg. The authoritative Latin edition was published in 1584 in Leipzig. Those who accept it as their doctrinal standard recognize it to be a faithful exposition of the Bible. The Holy Scriptures are set forth in the Book of Concord to be the sole, divine source and norm of all Christian doctrine, origin and arrangement. The Book of Concord was compiled by a group of theologians led by Jacob Andrea and Martin Kamnitz at the behest of their rulers, who desired an end to the religious controversies in their territories that arose among Lutherans after the death of Martin Luther in 1546. It was intended to replace German territorial collections of doctrinal statements, known as corpora doctrinae like the Corpus Doctrinae Philippicum or Misnicum. This aim is reflected by the compilers not calling it a corpus doctrine, although it technically is one. The list of writings predating the formula of Concord that would be included in the Book of Concord are listed and described in the Rule and Norm section of the formula. Following the preface written by Andrea and Chemnitz, the three ecumenical creeds were placed at the beginning in order to show the identity of Lutheran teaching with that of the ancient Christian Church. These creeds were the Apostles' Creed, Nicene Creed, and Athanasian Creed, which were formulated before the East-West Schism of 1054, but the Nicene Creed is the Western version containing the Filioque. The other documents come from the earliest years of the Lutheran Reformation. They are the Augsburg Confession, the Apology of the Augsburg Confession, both by Philip Melanchthon, the small and large catechisms of Martin Luther, his small curled articles, Melanchthon's treatise on the power and primacy of the Pope, and the formula of Concord, which was composed shortly before the publishing of the Book of Concord and intended for the same purpose, the pacification and unification of the growing Lutheran movement. The preface of the Book of Concord was considered to be the preface of the Formula of Concord as well. The Augsburg Confession has singular importance as the unanimous consensus and exposition of our Christian faith, particularly against the false worship, idolatry, and superstition of the papacy and against other sects, and as the symbol of our time. The first and unaltered Augsburg Confession, which was delivered to Emperor Charles V at Augsburg during the Great Diet in the year 1530, a recent book on Lutheranism asserts, to this day, the Augsburg Confession remains the basic definition of what it means to be a Lutheran, the Apology, the small curled articles, the treatise and the formula of Concord explain, defend, or serve as addenda to the Augsburg Confession. Contents Preface The Three Ecumenical Creeds The Apostles' Creed The Nicene Creed The Athanasian Creed The Augsburg Confession of 1530 The Apology of the Augsburg Confession The Small Curled Articles of Martin Luther Treatise on the Power and Primacy of the Pope the Small Catechism of Martin Luther Luther's Marriage Booklet and Baptism Booklet were included as part of the Small Catechism in a few of the 1580 editions of the German Book of Concord. The Large Catechism of Martin Luther, Epitome of the Formula of Concord, The Solid or Thorough Declaration of the Formula of Concord. The Catalogue of Testimonies was added as an appendix in most of the 1580 editions. Context in Christendom. The simple Latin title of the Book of Concord, Concordia, is fitting for the character of its contents. Christian statements of faith setting forth what is believed, taught, and confessed by the confessors with one heart and voice. This follows Street, Paul's directive, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 
Lutherans believe that the creeds and confessions that constitute the Book of Concord are not the private writings of their various authors, inasmuch, however, as they are in complete agreement with Holy Scripture and in this respect differ from all other particular symbols. The Lutheran confessions are truly ecumenical and Catholic in character. They contain the truths believed universally by true Christians everywhere, explicitly by all consistent Christians, implicitly even by inconsistent and erring Christians. Christian truth being one and the same the world over is none other than that which is found in the Lutheran confessions. Contemporary subscription To this day the Book of Concord is doctrinally normative among traditional and conservative Lutheran churches which require their pastors and other rostered church workers to pledge themselves unconditionally to the Book of Concord. They often identify themselves as confessional Lutherans. They consider the Book of Concord a norma normator in relation to the Bible, which they consider the norma normans, i.e., the only source of Christian doctrine. In this view the Book of Concord, on the topics that it addresses, is what the Church authoritatively understands God's authoritative word to say. This is also called the queer subscription to the Lutheran confessions, i.e., one subscribes because the Book of Concord is a faithful exposition of the scriptures. It implies that the subscriber has examined the Lutheran confessions in the light of the scriptures in order to arrive at this position, which in the subscriber's view does not require the disclaimer implied in a quotenis subscription. One who subscribes the Lutheran confessions quotenis, insofar as they are a faithful exposition of the scriptures, believes that there might be contradictions of the scriptures in them. In some cases this is the manner of subscription of some other Lutheran churches, which regard the Book of Concord as an important witness and guide to the historical teachings of the Lutheran Church although not necessarily doctrinally binding. The largest Lutheran church to subscribe unconditionally to the Book of Concord is the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Finland with 4.6 million members. English translations English translations of individual documents of the Book of Concord, notably the Augsburg Confession, were available since the 16th century. The first complete English translation of the Book of Concord was the 1851 Henkel edition followed by a second edition in 1854. These volumes included historical introductions. Henry E. Jacobs and others published the next English version in 1882 with a revised People's Edition in 1911. The 1882 edition was accompanied by a companion volume that contained historical introductions and English translations of other documents, illustrative of the history of the Book of Concord. The third English edition was published in 1921 as a jubilee observance of the 400th anniversary of the Reformation along with the German and Latin texts as the Concordia Triglotta. The symbolical books of the Ev. Lutheran Church, German-Latin-English edited by Friedrich Benter. This edition introduced the practice of inserting in square brackets the translations of variant readings of either the Latin translation of the German or the German translation of the Latin text. A smaller edition with just the English text was also published. The differences of the German translation of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession from the original Latin text were made apparent by Bentz. Insertion within square brackets of the variant readings of his English translation of the German text into the main body of his translation of the original Latin text. Justice Jonas, who had originally translated the Apology from Latin into German, made use of both the Quarto and the Octavo editions. The other reason for the differences is the looseness of the Jonas translation that is more like a paraphrase than a translation. With the appearance of the 1930 Beckentnerschrift and critical text a new English version was deemed desirable. This was begun but left unfinished by John C. Matz, who died in 1948. In 1959, the Tappet edition was produced with Theodore G. Tappet as general editor and translator and with Yaroslav Pelikan, Robert H. Fisher, and Arthur Carl Pipecorn as additional translators. 
this edition discontinued the practice of inserting translations of variant readings in square brackets. However, it began the practice of providing the translations of both the German and Latin texts of the Augsburg Confession since both texts of that confession are considered authoritative. The manner of presentation was the translation of the German text on the top of the page, that of the Latin on the bottom. An extensive revision of the Tabat edition came out in 2000, translated and edited by Robert Kolb and Timothy J. Vengert. As with the Tappet edition, the Kolb Venget edition was translated by scholars from two different Lutheran denominations. This edition provided the translations of both German and Latin texts of the Augsburg Confession on alternating pages. The translation team also included Eric Rich, Charles Arand, William Russell, James Schaff, and Jane Stroll. The Kolb Venget edition exhibits one of the difficulties in the translation of the The Apology of the Augsburg Confession. Two editions of the Apology were published in 1531, namely, the Quarto edition and the Octavo edition, which are so designated based on the format in which they were printed. The quarto edition was printed with the first publication of the Augsburg Confession in April-May 1531, hence, the name, Editia Princeps, first edition. The octavo edition followed in September, 1531. The Kolb Wenger translation of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession uses the later octavo edition text of 1531 rather than the earlier quarto edition text of 1531, with the variant readings of the quarto edition appearing in italics. The Tappet edition had used the quarto edition as the basis of its translation. The editors and translators of the Kolb Venget edition decided to use the Octavo edition as the main source for their translation because they believed the Octavo edition was the official text of the Apology. This is the position of the German scholar Christian Peters, who claimed the quarto edition was merely a stage on the way to a definitive text, i.e., the octavo edition. The octavo edition Latin text was utilized in a private Latin edition of the Book of Concord in 1580. But scholars question whether or not this octavo edition text can be considered the text approved by the Lutheran Church in the 16th century. The official 1584 Latin Book of Concord has the quarto edition text as its text of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession. Another notable feature of the Kolb Venget edition is the setting off of the filioque of the Nicene Creed in square brackets. The most recent English version of the Book of Concord was published in 2005 to commemorate the 425th anniversary of the publication of the Book of Concord, and the 475th anniversary of the presentation of the Augsburg Confession, entitled Concordia, the Lutheran Confessions, a reader's edition of the Book of Concord. It is a revision of the English text of the Concordia Triglotta and was edited by Paul T. McCain, Edward A. Engelbrecht, Robert C. Baker, and Jean E. Veith. A second edition followed in 2006. Editions available. Die Bekenntnisschriften der Evangelisch equals Lutherischen Kircher. Herausgegeben in Gedenkjahr der Augsburgischen Confession 1930. 12th edition. Gottingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht, 1998. ISBN 9783-525-52101-4. The Book of Concord. The Confessions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Theodore G. Tappet, translator and editor. Philadelphia. Fortress Press, 1959. ISBN 0-800-608259. Call Tappet, or the Tappet Edition, for short. The Book of Concord. The Confessions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Robert Kolb and Timothy J. Vengert, editors. Minneapolis, Augsburg Fortress Press, 2000, ISBN 0-8006-2740-7, Concordia Triglotta, The Symbolical Books of the Ev, Lutheran Church, German-Latin-English, F. Benter, Editor, St. Louis. 
Concordia Publishing House, 1921. Bibliography. Benter, Friedrich. Historical Introductions to the Symbolical Books of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. New Reprint Edition. St. Louis. Concordia Publishing House, 1995. ISBN 0-570-03262-8. Cook, Martin L. The Open Circle. Confessional Method in Theology. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Fortress Press, 1991. XIV, 130p. NB. Discusses the place of confessionalism in Lutheranism and in other Protestant thought. ISBN 0-8006-2482-3. Fagerberg, Holsten. A New Look at the Lutheran Confessions. Translated by Jean Lund. Paperback Edition. St. Louis. Concordia Publishing House, 1988. ISBN 0-570-04499-5. 4L. George W. The Augsburg Confession. A Contemporary Commentary. Minneapolis. Augsburg Publishing House, 1968. Lock 6825798. Formula of Concord. The Quadricentennial Essays. The 16th Century Journal 8 No. 4, ISSN 0361-0160, Grain, Leaf, The Augsburg Confession, A Commentary, Translated by John H. Rasmussen, Minneapolis, Augsburg Publishing House, 1986, ISBN 0-8066-2252-0, Cole, Robert and Charles P. Arand. The Genius of Luther's Theology, A Wittenberg Way of Thinking for the Contemporary Church, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Baker Academic, 2008, ISBN 9780-8010-3180-9, Cole, Robert and James A., Nestingen, eds. Sources and Contexts of the Book of Concord, Minneapolis. Fortress Press, 2001. ISBN 0-8006-3290-7. Robert Kolb, Die Concordian Formel. Eine Einführung in IHRE Geschichte und Theologie über Erzlehefter Ergänzungsbund 8. Edition Ruprecht, Göttingen 2011. ISBN 9783-7675-7145-0. Prius, Jacob A. O. The Second Martin, The Life and Theology of Martin Chemnitz, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 2004, Prius, Robert D. and Wilbert H. Rosen, eds. A Contemporary Look at the Formula of Concord, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1978. ISBN 0-570-03271-7. Prius, Robert D. Getting into the Theology of Concord. Reprint. St. Louis. Concordia Publishing House, 2004. Prius, Robert D. Theology of Post-Reformation Lutheranism. Volume 1. St. Louis. Concordia Publishing House, 1972, ISBN 0-570-04545-2, Ray Ujo and Michael, The Augsburg Confession, Reprint, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1995, Schlink, Edmund, Theology of the Lutheran Confessions, translated by P. Koenica and H. Baumann, Philadelphia, Fortress Press, 1961, Reprint, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 2004, Schmauk, Theodore, The Confessional Principle and the Confessions of the Lutheran Church, translated by C. Theodore Benzer, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, Reprint, 2005, The 16th Century Journal 11 No. 3. 450th Anniversary Augsburg Confession. ISSN 0361-0160. Vengert, Timothy J. A Formula for Parish Practice. Using the Formula of Concord in Congregations. Grand Rapids. Eidmans Publishing, 2006. 
ISBN 0-8028-3026-9. Ziegler, Roland F., The New Translation of the Book of Concord. Closing the Barn Door After, Concordia Theological Quarterly 66 2-145-165. Available online.